Donzo was corrupt, but he was corrupt for the Hidden Leaf Village. Nah, bro. Donzo was corrupt for himself, bro. Oh, we, nah. This is like an old nah, I'm, not, I'm not getting into this. I'm not getting into this. <laughs> nah, I mean, he, he was, bro. He literally, like, um, um, Tindo, Donzo did Donzo. nothing for himself. It was all for the Leaf Village. Tindo did we have this conversation? If we didn't have he, this conversation already with T Right, we could we could jump into it. Nah, he, dude. No, I don't I don't have enough time <laughs> to jump into that. He he That's he like a 30 um, minute video. Tindo literally says, like, um, well, isn't Kakashi like a member? Like he's he's one of us. He's a he's a leaf shinobi. And then Donzo's like, yo, if you're not down here in the root, you like you don't matter. That's basically what he said. Like, it's not about the leaf, it's about him. He doesn't care about the leaf as long as it's he's about in power, it's, a, that's, it's that's about the pe no, 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 because he wants he, he wants power. power in order to protect the leaf, and he doesn't believe that anyone else is capable of doing it. So he's willing he's willing to sacrifice the leaf village's citizens and people who aren't on the same page as him in order to protect them. He cares more about the village itself, not necessarily the people in it. So uh, he's corrupt in a sense, but not. A, it's less of a selfish reason and more of a, uh, more of like a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a pride in his in 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 the village, not like not the people in the village. Not, like he's like a nationalist, you know. Like he's um. So what's a village without its people? It's just mortar, brick and mortar, and a military like, force. That's what. That's what he. Uh, which is, I mean, he's not wrong. That's what the leaf. That's what the villages are were intended to be. Um, I, I think if Donzo, like Donzo, is willing to sacrifice any number of citizens and shinobi that aren't with him, um, in order to make sure that they that the leaf village remains a power in the shinobi world. So, so basically, he wants to govern over um, a village based upon his own ideology, ideology, right? Right. Which so, but like, he's not corrupt in. In the sense that he wants power just for the sake of having power and being like wealthy or like because because when you think corruption like uh like in like the police or whatever they like would steal drugs and stuff right to like to, for money right it would be it would be money it would be power but donzo there's a reason he wants power he doesn't want power just for the sake of having power he wants power for the sake of keeping the leaf village um as a as a shinobi village like he so believes that me. nobody else can do it so, so, so you're saying that um, a person can, a person that wants power can't be corrupt, like, 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 say for instance. No, no, no. Like, um, I'm I, saying I, that I, I, I'm a there's a reason of, of for right? it. Well, okay. Well, well, there's a reason for everything, right? Like you can justify anything. Like, well, I'm some people want whole... power just to be on top. They just want to. They just want the like. They get power hungry, and I don't think that I wouldn't say that that necessarily describes Don Donzo. Donzo is more of a person who wants power because he does not believe that anyone in here is like if there was someone else that what that donzo believed was capable of leading the leaf village i don't think that donzo would have a problem of let it with letting them lead the leaf village it's not that he wants to be in that position necessarily but that he believes in right. his point of view that he's the only one that is capable of doing it because no one so else it, is able to get their hands dirty like he is it just sounds like to me you have a like like a limited definition of corruption because corruption varies like like he doesn't need to um want power um just for power's sake and and to be corrupt he can also want power for what he perceives to be a legitimate reason for having said power and also be corrupt in and of itself like like these things are mutually exclusive right like every everybody does the thing suppose but i believe reason. you mentioned i believe you mentioned um something about him being selfish which i don't i don't is what i don't agree with i i, I personally believe that you putting your own ideology over um hundreds i don't know how many people are in the village right like you say he doesn't care about the people in the village he only cares about the concept of the village and the concept under the village under his ideology at that so to me that's selfish to prioritize your own ideology based off your own hubris and arrogance and, and to think that there's something more than all the, all these hundreds of people that you can do something that they can't that to, that to me um spells uh selfishness and then him making that statement to where he was literally trying to kill Kakashi because Kakashi turns down his offer to join him and he wants his shot and gun. Um, and by saying, if you're not down here with the root organization, you don't matter. That to me is selfish. Like, OK, so we're going to sacrifice this this great shinobi who could have done and went on to save the planet, mind you. It, um, it's perspective, Kakashi. right? Because it's not selfish to him. But it may it may seem selfish to other people, but because he uh, he sees it as something for the greater good of the village then because he he's 
he's a person who's willing to get his hands dirty and he's willing to sacrifice things that other people aren't. So in a way, um, like I see what you're saying. Like, yeah, isn't, there's isn't different. Corruption? Yeah. There's yeah. I, I, okay. Yeah. I'll give you that. It, it's corruption, but it's, it's, it depends on how you look at the way Donzo's thinking about things, because in a way he's also, he could, he could be viewed as the most selfish person for the ways that you, that you put for, forth with his, putting his ideologies over everyone else. Um, but he can also at the same time be viewed as one of the most selfless people because he's willing to get his hands dirty and he's willing to be hated. He's willing to sacrifice everything for the sake of the village. So uh, even his own life in the end. So uh, it, it it can be, I feel like it can be viewed in both ways, whereas he's definitely, okay, the corruption, like I, I was, when I, when I was speaking of corruption, I was thinking more of just for the sake of being in power. Um, and like, but but I see what you mean that like there's def different varying levels of corruption and different like the, the, it's not mutually exclusive. Um, right, and it's, I think that like Donzo's who... just as much of a selfless character as he is a selfish character. Well, but but this is like the difference in our takes, right? Like, um, you're excluding my premise, um, that he's a selfish, um, um corrupt character. I'm not excluding any of your premises. Um, he can he can be selfless from a certain point of view and also be selfish. Right. So I think that's kind of the difference in our approach with this particular um, topic. Um, and also the things that you like in order to gain power, you have to do things to get that power. Right. So even if you want to say he has the power, um, the things that he did to get there are um, selfish and they're corrupt. He's trying to destabilize the power structure in his village based off his own selfish ideologies. Um, or rather ideologies in general. He's trying to um, murder the Hokage. He's trying to kill this excellent shinobi that not only can go on to do great things for the village and the world, but did. Imagine if Kakashi actually died, how that would have affected um, the, the, the series of events, right? So to me, that's selfish. He's depriving um, 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 people of um, other people right because of what he believes like, like you don't have the right to do that like what, who yeah do i think that it like like yeah i think you understand it better than most people do because if i'm having this argument with someone else and and their definition of selfish would be as in like he just wants power um just to be powerful or he just wants money or he just wants like the the personal fame of of being the hokage you know what i mean like I, I feel like a lot of people, when they say that Donzo is selfish, they don't mean what you mean. They mean like selfish in like the traditional sense of uh, like he wants everything for him. Like greedy is what right. I guess I guess well, is the term. And I don't think that Donzo is necessarily a greedy character. Maybe that's a better point to make rather than selfish. Well, I would just I would just ask those people to just look a little deeper into the character and his motivations and what he actually does in the lore. And you can right. you can see he's an extremely corrupt individual. He's extremely selfish. Um, now he can be, um, that, that doesn't mean that he can't be selfless from a certain point of view, but he, but that doesn't, um, mean that he's not selfish. Right. But, um, yeah, that's just my take on Donzo. He's an interesting character for sure. Yeah. If I, I think more, interesting. more interesting than people give him credit for, I think. No, he's no, right. absolutely. I can definitely agree with for sure. Mm -hmm.